on today's Maker Mashup, we are turning out the lights and going outside to light up our patio. You may have seen clear filament before and wonder where you were gonna use it. We're gonna explore using it for outdoor lighting in today's video. The first filament we're gonna to explore today is this clear PLA. While it says it's clear, it's actually a milky white color. It works pretty well, but it isn't exactly 100% clear. The filament transfers light fairly well, and outdoors you'll get a nice even color throughout the object. You can use just about any vase from Thingiverse and turn it into an outdoor luminary like you see here. I'm actually using a remote control tea light in this particular luminary and it really gives you the ability to change the look and feel on the fly. I've included the link to these tea lights in the description. The next filament we're going to use today is this TPU. It's totally clear, and when it prints, it's exceptionally clear. And although it's a flexible filament, it's still really good for outdoor lighting. Surprisingly, many printers can print TPU easily at slower speeds. You're going to want to look for a 95A shore hardness. Uh, this type of TPU is less elastic than the Ninja Flex, which is an 85A. This model is available on Thingiverse, and surprisingly enough, it's just a pencil cup holder. TPU and vase mode, however, has turned this into a crystal candle holder. So I also tried this Clear Pet G, and while it says it's also clear, it kind of ends up a milky color, the same as the PLA, and it's a little bit more difficult to print with. So I suggest that if you want to go with simple to print, the PLA works great, or the TPU looks great too, and it's relatively easy to print as well. Now that we've picked a filament, let's light up this patio umbrella. Uh, you can see that the patio umbrella is being lit up by some clamps that I have actually created that hook right onto your umbrella. This model is available on Thingiverse, and you can see that the version I'm using here, the tea light sticks right into the bottom of them. I also created another version that allows you to just lay a tea light inside of it as well. Uh, the bottomless version works really great for the tea lights that I linked in the description. These have a remote control in them, and you can actually change the light uh, to any color, have it cycle lights, or you can set it to just white. Here you can see that even if you don't have clear PLA, you can print these in black or another color and still add a pretty dramatic look. Uh, you may even want to hide the clips themselves and use a black one like this to give it a lighted umbrella look, but then people question where the light is coming from. You can see the remote control version here is a little bit larger and uh, it's got some more complex electronics in it, but I think it's kind of worth it if you're gonna be lighting up your patio and you wanna impress your guests. The last example I have for you is another model that I created. This is for the kids. I created these tea light cubes that you simply print and you can print them in PLA or in TPU and you simply just insert the tea light into the bottom. The nice part about these is that the tea light fits flush on the bottom of each one so they make nice little cubes for out on the patio and the kids can have something to do while the adults are sitting out there as well. Well, that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to mash that like button and leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for new notifications of our videos. You can also follow us on Twitter or you can visit our website where we have a community discord where you can discuss your maker projects and so much more. So thanks again for watching this video and we'll see you again soon.